Are you worried that your child's new permanent teeth are yellow? You're not alone. This is a very common concern that I get asked about every day. And today I'll tell you why your child's teeth are coming in yellow, what you can do about it. And towards the end of the video, we'll talk about when is the best age to whiten your child's teeth and also something that is all over social media, stores, and maybe even in your home that you should not be using. Hi, I'm Dr. Capra, board certified pediatric dentist and mom who raised cavity free kids. I want to share my knowledge with you so that you can do the same. Now, let's talk about yellow teeth. So you're here because a tooth fairy has visited a couple times and you're so excited your child's new permanent teeth are coming in, but you're noticing that they are darker. They're a little bit more yellow than the baby teeth. And this is completely normal. What happens is that the permanent teeth have a larger nerve structure proportion compared to when the teeth are older. As these permanent teeth age, that nerve shrinks and those permanent teeth start to look whiter in appearance. The other reason is that these permanent teeth were naturally darker are coming in next to a baby tooth, which is a lot whiter than a permanent tooth. So you can definitely appreciate and notice a stark difference between the two. Now, during this transitional phase of mixed dentition, which is also termed the ugly duckling stage, yes, that's a thing, the teeth are going to look a little odd, you know, and it's normal. If you look at any child between the ages of seven and 12, they have, it's like a mix and match. As they age, this will become a lot less noticeable. Permanent teeth are naturally darker than baby teeth, but one of the biggest reasons why these teeth are a little bit darker is just simply because your child may not be brushing as well. Just remember when you were that age, were you very diligent brushing your teeth? Maybe not. You still need to help your child until they're ready to brush on their own properly and make sure they're getting all the way back in the molars, make sure they're getting up on the gum line, which is an important area. It is also important to note that there are tooth discolorations that are related to dental trauma. They can be related to fluorosis, which is an excess of fluoride. Also, any metabolic diseases, liver disease, any kidney disorders can contribute to different colors in teeth. And this is something that you'll have to discuss with your child's pediatric dentist to determine the cause and the best treatment in their case. This is not a stain that you'll be able to remove at home. So if you're in the South Florida area and your child doesn't have a pediatric dentist, come on by. I'd love to meet you and your family and guide you through your child's dental growth and development. So now that we've talked about the cause of yellow teeth, what can we do about them? So teeth whitening is everywhere nowadays. Children may see white teeth on their favorite celebrities or social media influencers and may become more self-conscious about their natural appearance. And I'd like to tell you something. If the color of your child's teeth, this darker yellow, is not bothering your child and it's normal, you've already spoken with their dentist, don't bring it up because you don't want to be the one to plant that seed of self-consciousness in your child. Many times I've noticed that it usually just bothers the parents. It doesn't really bother children that much because they're seeing their friends in the same position. Unless this is a darker stain or something that I talked about before related to trauma and it's something very noticeable. So I'm curious to know, was this something that your child brought up or is this something that you're concerned about? Let me know in the comments below. So I know you're asking yourself this question, what can I wipe my child's teeth? What can I use? The first thing you want to do is make sure your child's teeth are clean. How do you do that? Just go in and brush them yourself. Make sure you're brushing in circles gently along the gum line between the teeth, floss the teeth. And after you've removed all the plaque, then you can reevaluate and see, okay, were the teeth, are the teeth still yellow or were the teeth yellow just because they were dirty? So that's the first thing you want to do. Make sure you properly brush your child's teeth. Let's say their teeth are still darker in color. They're clean, but they're still darker and you really want to do something about this. We recommend waiting until all the baby teeth have fallen out to start any whitening procedure. This is around age 12 or 13. Now, what is the best way to whiten? Supervised by their dentist. In-office treatments are usually a higher percentage of either hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. And over-the-counter products usually have the same ingredients, but a lower percentage. Are they effective? Yes, they just take a little longer to work. 
Talking about whitening toothpaste, it is a good option for younger children. Now you do wanna look out for side effects such as sensitivity. Why? Whitening toothpaste usually has silica, which is an abrasive to remove surface stains, those that are caused by colored foods and drinks, not deep yellowish stains. Those need to be removed with peroxide products. Now remember I told you there's something all over social media, markets, and probably even in your home that you shouldn't be using? That's charcoal toothpaste. My next video will give you a sweet and short explanation as to why charcoal toothpaste is not the best for your teeth. If you have any additional questions or comments or anything you wanna tell me about whitening, please comment below and subscribe for more useful information and all about kids' teeth.